east side in Bondi to meet the team for a little brainstorming and wine session. We recently recruited three new staff members, so it's a good chance to do a little bit of bonding over Friday drinks. Before the girls arrive, I'm going to do a speedy makeup look that's perfect for going from work to drinks. And the lip is ideal to add a pop of colour and make you feel a little bit more done after a day in the office. I'm starting with a quick application of Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. It gives the skin a really beautiful pearlescent sheen, which when you apply your foundation just a little bit sparingly over the top, it makes you look like you're really glowing. This Marc Jacobs foundation is in a really cute little tube so it doesn't get broken in your handbag and it doesn't take up too much space. Always a consideration when you're probably doing your makeup in the bathrooms at work. So I'm applying it with the Chanel foundation brush. Now I go in and out with brushes. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. At the moment I'm really enjoying them because I think it helps you really get into that crease underneath your eyes and around your nose. And I also like that you don't end up using too much when you use a brush. You don't end up with a really heavy caked on face. I think the temptation when you use your fingers is to just kind of slap it on and you end up using much more than you would normally because you're just blending and blending. But when you've got a brush, you kind of use it sparingly. You know how I love glow, so I'm amping it up a little bit more with the RMS Luminizer Quad. Now, I love RMS products. Their formulas are based over coconut oil, so they kind of melt to touch. So you can kind of put them on using your fingers and they just melt into your skin and give you a little bit of color. They're really beautiful. This one has four shades and I'm really liking the champagne and gold colors today. One of my favorite ever concealers is by Terry Stilo Expert Click Stick. And I love this product. It's got the teardrop shaped tip, which is perfect for getting into that tiny little crevice under the eye on the inner corner just above your nose where it gets really dark and shadowy when you're tired. I also like using it around my nose. So blend it with your fourth finger because it's the most gentle. How good is this palette? It was a gift from an Elizabeth Arden event I went to. They used it as the placeholders with our names on them at the table. Such a cute idea. It's actually a custom eye palette where you can snap in different eye trios that you love. These shades are Bronze to Be and Love of Grey. I'm using the copper shade in the socket lines of my eyes with the Chanel Retractable Jewel Eyeshadow Brush. Now I love that it has a lid on either side so you can keep it clean in your makeup bag, which is always an issue. I find my brushes get so trashed when they're in my makeup bag. Then I'm actually using a flat angle wedge brush by Amy G to line my eyes with the copper shadow before going over it with a Chanel eyeliner. I can pretty much free draw the flicks now, but a good guide is to close your eyes and draw an imaginary line from the corner of your mouth past the outer edge of your nose to your temple. So follow the direction of this imaginary line and this is usually the direction that your eyelashes will go as well. So I'm not wearing mascara because I have my lash extensions on. I go to love those lashes in Sydney's Paddington and I'm a massive fan. Now a little bit more shadow into the crease to emphasize the eyes and I forgot my brow powder today so I'm using the brown shade of my eyeshadow in my brows which is totally okay as long as it's not too dark. Finally the fastest way to feel like you're ready for a night out is to add a slick of bright lip color. This gorgeous bright rosy shade is the new YSL Volupte liquid balm and I'm using it on my cheeks as well. Some lip glosses can actually work on your cheeks because they're a bit shiny and Yes, they do look shiny, but I don't think they look greasy. It kind of adds to that gleam that you want to have on your skin, as long as you blend it with your fingers. And the hint of color looks beautiful, just like you have really nice, healthy flush. And now it's time to meet the girls. See you guys next time.